Hey everyone, so today we are coming at you with the most exciting video to ever be posted on my channel. So you know what, I'm just gonna get into this video. I got a lot of stuff I wanna say. This video is very lengthy. And I just want to fill you guys in. This has been this has been a long time coming and I cannot wait to share this experience with you guys. So let's go back. Let's go back to when I was a child. So when I was a kid, we would always go to my grandma's house for like a week in the summer. We'd see her at Christmas. We'd see her once in a while. She lives a decent ways away, both her and my grandpa. So we didn't, it wasn't like a, oh, I'm going to run over to grandma and grandpa's house. It was like, it's a long drive away. We don't see them that often, but every time we would see them, it was super fun. I loved seeing them. They would take us for like a week in the summer and it was always like the best week of the summer. And then probably about five years ago, me and my grandma were just chatting. We were just having fun. And I jokingly kind of asked her like, grandma, if I become, if I become a big YouTuber, like I'm gonna spoil you, what do you want? She jokingly said she wanted a new house. And I said, okay, grandma, that's what you're gonna get then. You're gonna get a new house. <clears throat> I obviously am not able to get her a new house. <laughs> Spoiler alert, this video isn't me getting her a new house. <laughs> Fast forward to two years ago, my dad and I were kind of just chatting and I was telling him about how I really want to renovate my grandparents' house. Now, I've been getting super into renovations. Fresh out of high school, I wanted to get my realtor course online, so I did like online school for the realtor license. And since then I get super into like house flips and interior design. I did like a course on interior design and like, that's very much my passion right now. So I was kind of like, well, I've always like said I wanted to get grandma a new house. So then all of a sudden I just really wanted to spoil my grandparents with a renovation. And this was two years ago. And I was like, let's, let's make this happen. Then as you guys know, life gets busy and all that. And it just kind of got put on the back burner a little bit. And also I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not have the funds to renovate my grandparents' house. The thought was always in my head. Like it really never left. Like it was always something I really wanted to do. And then about six months ago, me and my dad were chatting and we were like, you know what? August sounds like a good time to do a renovation. <laughs> There's never gonna be a time in life that isn't busy. I need to make this a priority and this needs to be at the top of the priority list. And that is how this whole video came to be, renovating my grandparents' house behind their back <laughs> without them knowing, going through every single piece of clothing, object, every piece of furniture in their house, cleaning it out, decluttering, cleaning the floors and putting in new furniture, new design, new layout basically. Anyone who has seen an HGTV show, you know a lot of work goes into a renovation. So there was a lot of prepping and planning. So we did a little secret, well, okay, so my parents went there. Hi guys, so we're just driving down the highway, heading to grandma and grandpa's house. We've got the first part of the big reno surprise underway here we're going to be presenting them with the surprise trip it's going to be a trip to get them away and out of our hair for two weeks and they won't suspect a thing that's going to go on in their house so uh, we're going to be giving that to them today it's a total surprise we're going to strategically place it somewhere where they don't expect to see anything and they'll find this envelope and it'll have all the travel documents inside and uh, they're just gonna really be excited. So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be really big. So yeah, we're getting really excited. Everything's underway and this is the first step. So we'll keep you guys posted then, okay? Okay, so here we are at the house. We're gonna plant the present. Now let's just see what happens. They're gonna freak out. Where's dad? And we both need to get the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh my god, you guys, you've done enough. Ron. What? What is this? This. You 
you've done enough, you guys. That'd be okay, whatever. well done. <laughs> 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 All right, and just like that, stage one was complete. The grandparents will be out of the way for two weeks, inevitably leaving their house completely empty for us to come in and renovate without them knowing. But my parents had one more job that I sent them to do, and that was measuring. So we have the house to ourselves for about 45 minutes. Hello, world. <laughs> There. The first room that was measured was a little bit of a smaller room and it had the computer, my grandma's get ready area, and also just a lot of clothes and bags. And we think moving forward this would serve better as an exercise room, so that's what we're going to be transforming this room into. Okay, now on to the master bedroom. The master bedroom is actually a really decently sized room and I actually am very excited for this room because we are going to put a queen mattress in here. Right now there is a full. Once we get all the existing furniture out of this room, it's definitely going to be big enough to fit everything a normal bedroom set would need. We just really need to get this massive TV out that takes about 50% uh, of the floor length. The living room and kitchen area is fairly open concept, so we are just going to add in a dining room, add some paint, different furniture, and also very excitingly, we are going to be putting in a backsplash and a little island cart Still measuring okay i'm super excited for the backyard so the backyard's a little bit overgrown and the deck is rotting a little bit so we are just going to put in a screened in deck which is super exciting because there are a lot of mosquitoes and a screened in deck will keep them out so you can enjoy it a lot of the seasons so that's super exciting and then we're going to add sod and a little bit of gravel and bark mulch so actually the backyard's getting a lot of work done and that's pretty exciting like i'm very excited about that part this is the second bedroom. This spare bedroom is now going to be turned into my grandma's get ready area. You don't know my grandma, but if you did know my grandma, you would know that she loves getting ready. She loves outfits. She loves bling. Her nickname is Grandma Bling, so she needs a decked out get ready area. So as you guys can probably see, the house has a ton of potential. And from this point of measuring, this point of sending them on the trip, we had about three months to prep. So that meant a lot of planning, a lot of shopping, and a lot of ordering furniture, you guys, because we were gonna rent a U-Haul and drive it all the way to my grandparents' house. They're quite far away from us, so we wanted to get everything, and they're quite far from the city. So we wanted to have everything at, accessible to us at all times, so we wanted to get it all before we made the trek over there. Okay, we're probably two weeks in to the whole prepping process. I haven't really gotten in too much to why we have to prep so much, and it's basically just because they live decently far away, so we're gonna get a moving truck and move everything over. And they also live far from any, like, stores, basically. So anything that we forget, we'll have to do quite a long drive to get, so we're trying to not forget anything, hence why we have lists on lists on lists so like i don't know why this is important but just a ton of lists and as we get it we cross it off and it all comes down to even like paint refills um like roller refills paint brushes just tape stuff to hang up pictures so we're pretty organized which is nice feels good to be organized but uh and then i kind of showed you guys a little bit the other day but i was insane because i had just been on the computer for like eight hours hey everyone i am so happy to be here to alert you all that i have just dropped my first band <laughs> i just bought the uh furniture for the bed for the master bedroom um well the beginning of the furniture the ba the bed board the bed board the bed frame we've got <laughs> I've been looking at a screen all day long, but we have all the measurements for each room and I have been ordering like a crazy person. And I was at the store the other day and I was thinking about paint colors because right now my grandparents' house is like a taupe color. And you know what? I have had just about enough with taupe, I think. So I am going to make an executive decision to paint white. And I'm being crazy and I think I'm going to get like a charcoal like this or like this for the door and then black hardware I think would look really good and very much it would pop and just their house is decently small So I think putting a dark color in there would just close the rooms. So I think doing something light would be like a Really good idea for something in my eye, but yeah, so we're gonna order the paint today. So I'm gonna just continue on. Hey guys 
shopping again. You know, every time we come here, it's a cart full. We're almost at the end though. I've been online shopping like a crazy person. And now we're getting today all the stuff that we have to get in stores. It's been weeks. <laughs> all right you guys so today i'm here with my mom and my dad and we are going to be loading up everything you see in the back we have officially ordered everything everything has got here we're leaving not tomorrow but the next day we rented a u-haul and we got to get it loaded up hopefully everything fits fingers crossed hopefully we don't break anything <laughs> And yeah, like a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff's already in there, you guys. Here's the back of the U-Haul. It's already pretty full up. So hopefully we can fit everything. Do you think we'll be able to? I do. All right, you guys, get to work. Yes. Okay, so. Here's all of the decorations, you guys. They are in plastic bags, but we're gonna reuse the bags. Um, lots of stuff here. Paint over here. Got everything. Not any extra to spare, so we're good. On our way, I'm in the back seat. <laughs> we got the U-Haul in the back, and we got a long drive to go. We're checking emails. <laughs> checking some emails for you before we go. <laughs> All right, you guys, we just got here. It's really bright out. We're having a heat wave. Perfect weather to be working inside all day, but it looks good. This is not anything we're gonna be doing. We're doing the main floor and also the back deck. I will, I will do a quick little tour. Hi, what's up, bud? <laughs> so we are officially at my grandparents' house. We're in the backyard right now, which is a part of the renovation. Um, I'm just basically going to show you guys a quick tour of the house so that you can see the befores and then we're going to get into two weeks of renovating. You guys are going to see it all condensed in the video. Uh, Charlie, my cousin's probably going to roll up halfway through and she's super excited to be on camera so give her a warm welcome. But anyways, <laughs> got the backyard. not worrying about the basement they don't go downstairs um, all right so we walk into this little entrance way up the stairs in the kitchen they actually have new cabinetry it's really nice uh, they got peel and stick so this kind of sticks on like wallpaper and then they've got this table right here and we ended up buying a island that'll go here one two three couches <laughs> We're going to try and work in a dining table here. And actually now looking like this space is really good. Like I'm quite excited. Hey. This is gonna be great. I see a lot of stuff that was originally from our house, <laughs> like that picture right there. It actually looks really good right there. It does actually. This room we have in here, we're gonna declutter it. We have two days to declutter. It's gonna be a lot of work. My grandma loves her clothes. She's got clothes in every single room, as you can see. And then in here, there's an extra bedroom. And you know what? It's nice that they have extra bedrooms, but it's time to convert the whole house for them. So this is going to be my grandma's closet. Storage units that we have to put together for right here. And then a little vanity desk. Mirrors, something for her jewelry. So this is all gonna get redone. And a different light, it's a chandelier. The last room that is involved in the renovation. By the way, outside is also getting a screened in deck. Mosquitoes are thick here, so screened in is nice. But in here, they have a double bed, soon to be a queen. Oh my goodness, grandma. <laughs> no, I know, Grandma's right? closet, <laughs> my goodness. Like, look at the here. thing is bending. 
Like the beam is bending. This is how much closure she had to put an extra support right here. All right, you guys. So this is the beginning. We got the outside. We got a lot of sod deck kitchen. We got to do the backsplash. We've never done a backsplash before. Wish yeah. us luck. We got an island. We got to build a ton of furniture. We got to paint the whole place. And the biggest thing of all is we have to declutter. So let's get into the renovation. But first. We got to we got to show you Charlie because she wants to be on here, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so. Introducing Charlie. Whenever she gets here. <laughs> My cousin Charlie here. Hi. She's got great teal hair right now. <laughs> so I think that Charlie should just give her opinion on all the stuff in the house. We'll have a uh, a young opinion on the house. <laughs> what do you think of the TV? It's pretty big. That's really big. <laughs> it's actually bigger than you. It is. By a lot. Like it's taller than me too. Because we're going to do a closet. Get this. Oh my gosh. This bed is so bouncy. Oh it is. What the? <laughs> we got to amp that up. Yeah. We got to make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> we got to make it a little bigger for yeah. sure. All right, Charlie. Do you have any of your friends that you want to shout out? Anyone you think will be watching this? Mm. Do you yeah, want to my say friends to the from camera? school. My friends from school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Friends from hey, school. Hey, friends from school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. It's day one. It's six a.m. <laughs> Just kidding. It's eight. But we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try and get up earlier other days. We just had a late night, but today is day one of the reno and we have two days allotted for cleaning out this place. So let's get started. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. It's 6 freaking a.m. you guys. Oh, tangled up <laughs> doesn't she <laughs> all right it's a little full in here also i haven't seen any of this packaging in a long time so i'm kind of feeling like a lot of this is expired so i'm gonna go through see what's expired and get rid of it you might have to replace a few things this will be organized by the end of this so i can help it oh yeah this room is getting nice and cleared it out is. Progress. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mini Maples, what you doing? I'm just uh, sorting makeup. Right sorting makeup. Look at all the work you're doing. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're doing awesome. Uh, sorting perfume. Yeah. Makeup. Jewelry. Holy. Check the pockets for money. I'll try. It might take a while. <laughs> oh, man. Any comments? No, not right now. <laughs> At this point, we were all feeling the wrath of the decluttering phase. I knew it was going to be a long phase, but it honestly took a lot out of us. We spent the whole day going through everything, and it wasn't like we could just go through everything and throw everything out. We actually had to sift through everything and make sure that it wasn't like important. We only wanted to get rid of the garbage stuff for the really outdated things. So this was a ton of work. Why is there a toilet in the closet? Grandma, what have you been doing? <laughs> this is all about. Grandma. All right, you 
right, you guys, we are, I would say halfway done day one, but I wanted to show you guys the update. Actually, you know what? Not halfway done. I think we've done about 10 hours right now of hard work and we got a lot of stuff done. If you follow me, I am honestly so hot. Like, I can't even, I'm like, <laughs> every closet, every corner has been cleaned out and well, except the kitchen, we still got it. But <laughs> this is what we're going to be doing for the next probably five hours. This is all my grandma. And I would say about half a bag is my grandpa. But the rest of it is my grandma. And guess what, grandma? I'm going to be... I'm going to be taking some serious liberties on her clothes because I don't think anyone should have that much clothes. So I'm going to find the good stuff and we're going to keep it. But okay, down here, we had a lot of full bedrooms. And now, ignore the toilet in the corner. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Completely empty now. We got a lot of closet space outside. You guys might have been seeing a few updates if you just look out. The original deck has been ripped out and we got the furniture there. But yeah, so tons of stuff going on today. Literally been working all day long and uh, nonstop. So we got another bedroom. This one had clothes full, full. There's a ton of stuff in here. I know I showed you guys the tour yesterday, but a lot has changed. Here's the master bedroom. Look how big this room is. This room is actually so large now that everything's out of it. Uh, we still have to go through the closet. Here is what the closet looks like now. A lot less stuff in here. Yeah, you know, it's just the, the little big things. So now we're gonna sort some clothes. This has been a really productive first day. I'm super happy. We're on schedule. So this is all just us going through the closet. We wanted to sort through everything. My grandma had like 40 pairs of black leggings. So we got that down to like 12 or something, which was a lot more reasonable compared to what we came from. So this time lapse is actually like four hours long, <laughs> but here it is in really fast motion. All right, you guys, end of day one. It's been 13 hours, so we're gonna go home. Tomorrow's another long day. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Day two, day two, day two. Day two, day two, day two. Get in here. Day two. Hello. How My dad's long? <laughs> Today is another organizing day, and maybe we'll get to paint prep. I've had one slice of toast because that is all there is. So we need groceries too. But yeah, we gotta go through a bunch of clothes, a bunch of organizing today. We had two days allotted to organize, so we're still on schedule. So let's get into it. We still have some new stuff to put in here. Wait, there's some that look better than others. Hold on. There, like that was crazy. I wish I would have got a shot beforehand what it was, but trust me, it was just packed to the top full. So happy to have the kitchen done. We still have to do the backsplash because right now she has this one and we got a subway tile, so. Day three, today is paint prep. We were a little ahead of schedule yesterday. We took off all the doors and the hardware and got them ready to be painted because the house is being painted different than the doors, so we had to get them off. And all the hardware had been on there for like, I don't wanna say 100 years because I don't think that's how long, but like a long time, like they were like caked on. So it was a big process to get all that off. Um, and now we're doing paint prep. We want to spend a lot of time paint prepping and like taping things so that we don't get splatters all over everything. So this is a tedious day, but a very important day. So it should be, <laughs> it should be fun. I heard you open your meal. <laughs> 
but yeah so it should be a pretty good day if we get done early we're going to move on to painting today so stay tuned you're not going to see a lot of stuff today just because it's just a lot of filling the walls and taping the floorboards but hopefully we'll get into painting maybe fingers crossed if not tomorrow so let's go about our day gonna be great to tape the floor like that. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll make our painting a lot less stressful and hopefully a lot cleaner. Yeah. It does hurt the back though. <laughs> <laughs> Getting hit with crab apples? Yeah. <laughs> I know what I would do with that tree. <laughs> Make apple pie. Apple. Wow, this is going to be so nice. Yeah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed those shots. My dad, there's just so much going on. Me, my mom, and my dad are all working super hard today. And it's not like we have like a filming team, like it's just my cameras all set up. So I just want to show you guys that there's stuff going on in the backyard. But we finished all the filling. As you can see, there was lots of holes. They're all filled in and all the corners of the house are taped. So we can start painting. We're a little bit ahead of schedule, so that's nice. So we just got the paper down in here, and now we're gonna put it down in this room. And then you'll get to see the paint. I wanna get video of dad doing landscaping, but honestly, you guys, he never calls me up to film it. <laughs> and then I just come out and I'm like, hey, tell me when you're doing something big. And then I come out and it's finished, so. <laughs> he can't be trusted. That video of him dropping rocks was probably all you guys are gonna get to see. I'm sorry. It's really not my fault. It's his fault. I'm blaming. I'm playing the blame game. Don't you guys just love standing back after a 14 hour day? I'm just feeling so good about that first coat. <laughs> when that first coat just pays off in the biggest yeah. way. Like, when that first coat looks so good that you don't even need a second coat. You know that feeling? <laughs> you know that feeling with the first coat? It just looks so good. <laughs> it just feels super rewarding. Super rewarding. Yes. What are you doing? We locked ourselves out of grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god! I told you you need help. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at the front door. Let us in. <laughs> we need to work. We're behind schedule now. Oh, she's here. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Today is just all painting, so I don't even know if I'm gonna film much of it. So we might just cut to tomorrow or something more interesting. Just paint, you guys. Oh my god, ow! What did I do? You guys, I just had to cut all my nails off. In the last clip that you guys saw, I tried to pick up like a 10 gallon bucket and instead of picking it up, it like caught all my nails. And I know what you're thinking, why do I have fake nails while doing this? Well, for a video that's happening in two weeks, I needed like nails to work with. <sighs> but you know what? I couldn't do it. So like when I picked it up, it like cut all these and like went to pull off my real nails. So I just had to chop them all. And these ones are like, I swear, they're like bleeding and they're coming off. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna just flip till tomorrow. We're just painting. 
All right, guys, it is the next day. The paint has all dried. It looks very good. Yesterday was a long painting day. We painted all day because we wanted it to be done, and we are officially two days ahead of schedule, and now we're gonna take you guys along with us to remove the tape. I got my dad right here. This is my dad, and he's gonna help me remove the tape. So you start somewhere, I'll start somewhere. Just get as many shots as you can. Seriously, don't you did a hell of a job on this. Thank you. I did take for a good three hours, so. <laughs> I am not embarrassed to say I would not have done nearly as good as that. <laughs> All right. Ready? We got all the tape off the floors. Now we're gonna unload the U-Haul and then we're gonna do the backsplash today. So I'll just flip to that. All the furniture is brought inside and now we're gonna start on the backsplash. We clean the countertops and now all this is gonna be backsplash right here. Up here we decided it's gonna be backsplash and all of that. So we're gonna start that. Never done a backsplash before. Watched a ton of videos. Talked to the people at the home hardware for a long time. So we'll see. Wish us luck. You'll see as we go. This might take us a while just to, it's a little tedious, right? Placing one tile at a time. What are you doing in here? Dad's gonna do the exercise flooring in here, you guys. It's gonna yep. be foam. And it's to, what is it? What is the word? Uh, to... Encourage exercise. Train for an old person marathon, which is three city blocks. <laughs> <laughs> look at the new light. I sure hope I got a video of the light before because that makes this one look all the more special. Bunch of lights are getting put in. I'll keep you guys posted. So much is happening, like it's impossible to get it all on camera. My camera can't even get me on camera, like it's not even focusing on me, it's focusing on the light. All good. But uh, yeah, ton is going on. You're gonna miss a lot of stuff, but for the reveal, you will see it all. So. All right, guys, today was a really big day. We moved everything inside. We put up some new light fixtures. We got the new light fixture here, got this Matt put in the exercise room, got this light fixture put up. It's a little chandelier, and also this one in here, which has no bulbs yet, so you probably can't see it. And the biggest thing, in my opinion, the biggest, the backsplash has been officially put in. Now we just need to put grout in, grout, grout in tomorrow. But look at it, like, it's a major detail. That took a long time. So I actually have like a pounding headache. We got some pretty bad news today, so uh, we're just gonna be done for today, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, so we are back at work again. Today we are putting the grout on and also just doing a ton of building. I'll put some footage in. It's starting to get really scattered, though. Like, I definitely should have, like, planned this out better so that I could film just different pieces of it and more foot like zeroed in on a few rather than just like bits and pieces of everything but it's just continuing to be a mess so I will just continue to film it messy hopefully the editing can put it together better but yeah we're gonna be doing the grout and then we're gonna be building so this is gonna be a full day again probably another like 14 hour day so let's get started this is a nightstand and I specifically chose a nightstand that had drawers because they got a lot of like medication, um, just a lot of stuff basically. So we want to make sure it'll fit in their nightstands. So lay 
it all out. I screwed on the handle upside down. <laughs> First piece of furniture is officially done. The nightstand. Right in the camera. Our, electri our electrician's here. Look at the handiwork. Nice. Ooh, you guys got all the... Uh, yeah, all the little the things thing. on there. And we've got a real factory going together here. Hello. <laughs> Look at all the shelves. And a cute little friend, Milo. Hello, Milo. You're here too. Peyton, what are you gonna do? Are you the electrician helper? The, the apprentice. Yeah. The apprentice? <laughs> Day seven. Tonight we pick up Tate and Eli. They're gonna come here and help for a couple days. Eli's gonna be here a week. Tate's gonna be here like a couple days. But we're gonna be putting the sectional together now. We got a lot of stuff done. We're finishing the back. You know what? I don't have to give updates every time. I'm sure I've probably updated you a million times. We're gonna make the sectional now. <laughs> Oh, it's all in one piece. Oh, I don't think I can put it together. Let's see what the fabric looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a salt and pepper gray. Oh, I love it. Wow, so we're gonna put some stuff together and then we have to go to the big cité and get some extra stuff. It's been a long week. <laughs> We're gonna take this time to just check on what is dad doing, what is going on in the backyard, where is dad, what's he up to. Ah, there he is. He's outside spreading bark mulch and he's now placing a few little decorative pieces. Very nice. The backyard is coming together. Day, I have no idea. Yesterday was such a long day. We didn't get home until like 12.30. We got Tate and Eli. They're here, I'll show you guys them. <laughs> and uh, we had to pick up a bunch of stuff. We had to get groceries. We had to talk to my other aunt. It was just like, what else did we freaking do? Oh yeah, I went to my grandma. I had got my other grandma recliner that she wanted. It's just like, it was just busy yesterday. So we're starting a little bit late. It's nine. I will show you. Tate and Eli are here for an extra set of hands. Hey you guys, oh my say hello. Hi. Tate and Eli are here and they're gonna help. We're gonna have double the extra help for a couple days. Eli's here for a week, Tate's here for like two days. 25 minutes. <laughs> so that'll be good. Anyways, so today we redid the schedule because we're a little bit ahead of schedule and we don't wanna fall behind schedule. So after yesterday building all the furniture, which is now covered up. We have to finish, oh yeah, that's what we picked up yesterday. We picked up the rest of the grout because we'd ran out. Hopefully finish building all the furniture today. Finish the grout and maybe do the putty around the windows. I don't know. So you're just gonna see bits and pieces of it. And my dad's gonna clean up the yard some more. So <laughs> the deck is starting to come together. I'll show you it from in here there's the deck as you can see it's going up we got the roof up the apples are all falling off the tree and we've got the black bark mulch over there nice <laughs> yeah good job tate good job eli yeah you know what safety first good step one mia you might want to what that's step one <laughs> Oh my gosh, great. <laughs> All right, we are done for today. Patio furniture is done. Elliptical got made. 
tons of trees got cut in the back. A bunch of patio furniture was made. Oh wait, I already said that. Um, this, wait, I already, I feel like I just had deja vu this organizer's done. Um, but the vanity got a ton of work today. The whole closet unit was built. The mirror was hung. This mirror was hung. This organizer, her chair. Check it out, you guys. These things, all this work. You guys saw that chair get made. Eli's out there. <laughs> but yeah, it looks great. This was a very good day. And on to tomorrow where we're bringing the painted doors. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even film that part, but we painted the doors gray and spray painted all the hardware. We had to clean them with gasoline. It was a lot of work. So those going tomorrow, very excited for that. See you then. Good morning, everyone. Today we are putting in the doors. We have them right here. You guys probably didn't see the footage of us painting them, but here's the color. We also um, sanded and washed like all of the metal, and then we sprayed it with metal paint black so that's exciting like picture this door on the white wall with a black uh doorknob so we're doing that today um and then i think we're gonna be hanging a lot of stuff honestly it's getting so repetitive like <laughs> i feel like it's getting really boring for you guys but i said that yesterday so i'm gonna try not to say that again hopefully you guys are just enjoying it fingers crossed but yeah another day of work let's roll okay so i've been holding off on making the mattress but i really want to make it i've never tried a mattress like this my mom was really excited to try the nd not sponsored um but excited to see what it's like my grandparents initially had a double bed in here so we we amped it up to a queen so let's see how this mattress works apparently it's pretty satisfying like apparently it'll like grow so <laughs> let's see Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a comfortable mattress. Wow, that is comfortable. Mama? Oh my god. <laughs> so today is a big day of hanging things, like I said. And over in this corner wall, we want to do like a picture, kind of like montage, like a cluttered corner because Grandmas have a ton of pictures, you guys, but I don't want them all over. I'd like them kind of like central right here. So I picked up a ton of frames uh, before. You guys probably saw footage of it. And then they had a bunch of frames here. Here are a few pictures that they had. And here are a few frames that I picked up. So we're going to scatter them in this corner. This is I'm getting interrupted by loud loud things. So basically, this is going to take me a hot minute to design this back here, so I guess you guys can watch. <laughs> I found the first must-have picture, you guys. It's me as a flower girl. Hee <laughs> hee. There might be a lot of pictures in here of my family. <laughs> Good. And it's a smart TV. Smart right? TV. You guys can find your Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> Here's us doing various things around the house now. At this point, I'm drowning in footage. I have no idea what day it is. So here's just a ton of things we had to do. Okay, guys. So Mia's asked me to load up Grandpa's closet. So I'm gonna get that done right now. We have the organizers in place. So I'm just gonna. Sort his clothes out, all the sweaters and long sleeves go here. This is only for grandpa, this closet now, so that's really good. And we've got pants, all the nice hangers, and t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirts. And over here we have long sleeve dress shirts. Grandpa's gonna find all his clothes. Ooh, and also, aww. To Ron, love mom. We got to put this the Montreal Canadiens. Hang that up for him to see each and every day. He can see that. We're organizing grandma's jewelry right now. We got a lot going on. What do you think, Auntie D? Yeah, it's it's a lot. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> do you think grandma's too much? Betty Blink. 
Oh yeah. yeah. That's nice. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, there. That's great. Cool. <laughs> Get all the apples out of the tree. Clean them up. <laughs> They're falling on your head. Look at all these apples. <laughs> They're like everywhere. So these messy. apples. Oh, mama. What you doing? <laughs> Laying the sod. Yeah, the lane sod. Instant the grass, wow. The lane sod in beautiful wet soil. This is the perfect weather for laying sod. If you're gra if you're the grass, that is. Bingy bing, the place looks great. We decorated, we decorated, we decorated, rated, 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 rated. All right, guys, so um, firstly, sorry for the lighting. Sorry for the backdrop. Um, I'm at my aunt's house right now. That's where we've been for the last two weeks. Tonight is the night before the grand reveal. We finished at the house at like eight today, like eight at night, like we worked a full day and it is completely finished. And I could not be more happy with how it looks. I am just like hoping and hoping and hoping that they love it even like half as much as I love it I'm so happy with how it turned out it was a ton of work a lot more honestly than I expected it to be like when I watch HGTV and like reno shows they never really get into the like decluttering and like going through things figuring out what can go what can stay painting an entire house takes so long I just feel like they really really deserve this and I feel like at a certain point in your life I think things start to get the back burner, like they're very busy, they, uh, they're they getting older and it's hard to maintain everything and I just feel like it's gonna be so nice for them to have a fresh start. I can't wait for their reaction. Last night I had a dream that they hated it, so hopefully not. <laughs> you guys made this all possible and thank you to all my family who helped out. I'm sure I'm probably getting into this again at some point in the video. I want to thank everybody that helped out. Uh, this was a ton of work and I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm just like fingers crossed that they love it you guys. In the morning I'm gonna get all ready and I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you the final thing and then I'm gonna reveal it to my grandparents and I am hoping that reaction is priceless <laughs> see i'm like hyping it up but like honestly i hope it's amazing and i hope they love it and grandma and grandpa i know you're watching this and you guys deserve it and i hope you love it so let's get to showing the place all right you guys so it is the morning before the big reveal i've been saying it throughout this entire video but they have no idea that we did anything to their house they're just getting back from a trip nothing crazy nothing new and then bam we redid their house <laughs> they don't know we took a lot of liberties on everything so hopefully they like it i'm super excited i feel like the reveal is going to be very hustle and bustle and like crazy so i wanted to take this time just to show you guys the house just because i'm super proud of how it turned out so i really want to address it so let's go inside and take a look you guys remember how it looked before? We'll put the before and after shots in, but there's some major changes here. So first, as you walk in, you walk into the living room. Living room, dining room, to the kitchen. Now this is a layout that this house always had, but wasn't being really taken advantage of. Like it basically is an open concept, but before this room was just full of couches. Love you the most, Grandma, but you know this room was full of couches. <laughs> so here it is now. We've got a nice gray sectional. It's an L shape. I can see my grandpa chilling right here. Got the big lamp. I love this lamp, by the way. Okay, so we have a dining room now, and this is something that my aunt told me my grandpa really wanted. He loves playing cards, and now this is somewhere to play cards and also somewhere to eat. So I personally am most excited about this area. And over here we have a picture scramble wall. I feel like since the room is so neat and tidy, you can have kind of like a scattered wall. And grandparents have a ton of pictures, so you have to have somewhere to display them for them to look at all their family history and all their kids and their kids' kids and their kids' kids' kids. So 
that's all right here. And then that brings us into the kitchen. The kitchen didn't change much, but you know, one of the biggest compliments is a lot of my grandma's friends are coming over and they're like, oh, is the flooring new? Is the countertops new? And it's like, no, it's not new. We just added the backsplash. I feel like the backsplash really brightens up the whole kitchen and makes it look bigger. And also they used to have a dining kind of table right here, but now it's this island, which is nice because there's more counter space. And I didn't talk about the light. It looks like a flying saucer. I really like it. Okay, so now we're gonna flow down into the hallway. I'll get into each room. So the idea behind these rooms were kind of that, you know what, it's time for them to have a house that like is all about them because before. Basically, I just wanted it to be about them. So we added an exercise room right here to promote exercise. We put a TV in here. So hopefully that makes them want to work out a TV whenever they want to watch like curling or something. And in here, this is a grandma special. My grandma loves clothes, my grandma loves getting ready. Actually, you guys have pretty much already seen this. Why am I pretending like it's new? This is the vanity room. This is my grandma. You guys have yet to meet my grandma, but trust me, when you meet her, you're gonna understand this room. She's nicknamed Grandma Bling. So she's got a ton of clothes. She had a ton before until I got rid of a bunch of it. She's got so much jewelry. This organizer is like full now, <laughs> so that's crazy. And up here, Charlie was helping out and she also painted Grandma a picture. And over here, we've got all of her makeup set out. Makeup in here. This is the whole glitz room. And this is something that my grandma definitely never had, but I feel like she will love it. So I'm super excited for her to, to see her face for this room. Their master bedroom no longer has a huge TV in it and I'm hoping they don't mind. I hope they like it. I hope the new design makes up for us taking away their huge TV. But here it is. I'm so happy with it. This room is like, I wish this was my room. Over on this wall we have a shelf with a bunch of important pictures that they'll like to see. And now I guess my grandpa had all of his clothes in the closet or no, in like the little jacket organizer in the living room and that's not right he should have a closet so he has one now we put doors we broke the brace like this closet got a full makeover and now it is my grandpa's closet into the backyard i don't know if you guys can remember it before but it was just kind of a blank slate. It was really, really cute though. I feel like we brought the cuteness factor up, which I really like. So we started out with some rocks, some black paper around this side doing the rocks. Okay, this, I mean, we gotta address it right now. I hope my grandma and grandpa don't fall out of it. I saw it like a month ago in a store and I was just like, that's too fun. And like, I think my grandma will really like it. So she can sit out here in the sun she just have to focus when getting in here because it is a little tippy but like once you're in you're good these are chairs they actually already had and we just cleaned them up a little bit put some pillows on it and i really like this one because you can cook like s'mores and like hot dogs right on there and you don't have to like be holding anything they can just set them on we'll go over here before we go into the deck but we also got some new sod because we ripped it up while making the deck and then we got black mulch and sandpaper and they had a lot of these like old school stuff so we placed them out and they look really good now i think before they just kind of sat in the yard but now they look like nice nice pieces of the yard i'm gonna show you guys inside it this is a very long deck i decided to just put furniture on the one side because i wanted to keep open spaces because i know my grandma's gonna want to put some stuff some places so i thought let's not fill it up too much and then on the roof there are a bunch of lights which look so nice especially at night it's actually morning time right now but at night especially that looks really nice i'm a little bit nervous about white cushions but i believe in you guys come on you can keep it grandma start drinking white wine not red wine <laughs> whoa this looks crazy with a wide angle lens but that is the overview of the whole house and i'm excited to see what they think and we're gonna figure out what they think right now. Okay, we're rolling. Do I run out? Yeah. I'll run out. Dad never texted. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Surprise! Hi, Grandpa. How are you doing, you <laughs> 
Oh my god! god. Oh my god. <laughs> How was your trip? <laughs> oh, you guys! What a surprise! <laughs> it's like one surprise after another! How was your holiday? Oh, Glad you guys had a nice holiday! No, look, 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 Grandma, we have something special to tell you. I wrote it out. Okay. I got something to say. <laughs> okay. I'm looking at her ring to see if there's any rings on her fingers. No, it's not. <laughs> and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Yeah, let's go. I'm super excited. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, Look at oh, this. I mean, mom. So. Whoa, Look at, oh my god! What a family! Oh man! <laughs> Holy! Oh. That's incredible! You guys are crazy, but oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Got the, all the corners and all the Look trees all covered. This. Who did all this work? Have you been out here too? Yeah, Dad. we've all been working. Yeah, everybody's been out here working 12 <laughs> hour days. Here for a while. <laughs> Look at this. Grandma. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Just way too much. Just way too much. Look how nice that looks. Oh, I can't handle this. Honestly, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you both heart attacks. This is kind of tough going. Oh. So. Ay, 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 what have happened? What have you done, guys? My what God. haven't we done? <laughs> Oh, this, I would never have dreamed of this. <laughs> not a oh, man in a lifetime. Oh, no. <laughs> made this into such a oh, modern right. home. When you said you are going to give me a new home, you did. Did, did anybody know about oh, this God, besides you guys? Oh, the whole town. Eventually. The whole town kept it a secret. Oh. <laughs> Grandpa, this room's mainly for you, but Grandma, we're hoping you use it. Okay. <laughs> Come on in. It's an exercise room. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh and there's god. a little TV that goes on Netflix here, too. And by the way, I'll explain where everything is oh. after, because the keepsakes are in here in the vacuum and the um, board is in here and all your you cards guys and dice are in so here. You guys hard, gosh. Yeah, we went through a bunch of pictures. Where's yeah, we final? kept all your pictures too, there <laughs> you Yeah, the pictures are all in there. But Grandma, this room's 100% your room and Grandpa will get to yours. Go on in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at this stuff. Oh, it's so neat. Oh. <laughs> and Grandma, and here's, oh, all, look how nice. and here's all your jewelry, Grandma. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe you guys did this. this you realize we got weak hearts? I think <laughs> I'm dreaming, honest to God. Yeah, oh, never, never, ne and this everything you need, you got Look this. at all this furniture you bought. Oh, oh Mia and Lena, you guys are too good. Yeah, well, you deserve it. Oh. Everything's organized. Look at that. You got your wigs, <laughs> got your shoes in here. Oh, let me see. The bathroom, nothing's new, it's just clean. <laughs> 
Look at this. It's a brand new mattress, brand new pillows. Guys, must have been so hot doors. Oh yeah, we put doors. Grandpa, this is you. This is all you. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. All your stuff is in there, and there's a mirror back there for when you get ready in the morning. And the curtains, <laughs> everything. I can't believe it's the same place. Oh, and here, all your stuff. Look at here. all the pills, all the hockey memorabilia, <laughs> a new side table, oh, and I this. Can't imagine the, the garbage you must have thrown in. It was crazy. It was hardly. <laughs> no. Never be able to no. you guys. No. You don't have to. Your Look how clean the enough. windows are. Oh. <laughs> I bet you, you had to do some work. Oh. Ron, oh. Ron, look at this. Oh. Look at the lights. I hope you guys have a great sleep. <laughs> oh, you spent way too much money. Oh. You're worth it, Grandma. No. I'm it. not worth this. Yes, no. you are. I bet you here. guys had some laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, Grandma, it's going to be on my channel. It's a video reno on the channel. Oh, really? Not the whole way through. Everyone saw everything. Oh, did they? <laughs> did they? They did. Not, not, not with me seeing it now, though. That's not why you're doing that. Is that is why. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just <laughs> should fix my hair. <laughs> All right, guys. So that has been the whole renovation. What did you guys think of their reaction? What did you guys think of the transformation? I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is something that I definitely want to get more into. The whole like home decor, house flipping, transformations, like little DIY things. Um, it's definitely what I'm very passionate about. And like as I do more of it, the more I love it and the more I want to do it more. So I really hope that you guys enjoy these concepts as well but even above that i i don't even know really how to explain it but truly like this video has been by far the biggest project that i've ever done on youtube by like a long shot and it also has given like the biggest reaction it feels like like this this feels like something that will like I don't know it's hard to explain for them to have really liked it like as much as i thought they would like it i still had this like little nagging thought that they might not and maybe like it was definitely overstepping to go through their whole house but like we're not just anyone going through their whole house like we're their family and like we like this was all done because we care and like i just really wanted like their rest of their life for them to be in a house that is made for them it now really uh, encompasses like them it just turned out like really how i wanted it to <laughs> i know that sounds weird and like but it just feels so good to have something like what you imagine like happen in real life it's just so satisfying honestly and from the bottom of my heart i just have to say thank you guys for all the love and the support because honestly without your guys' support and with you guys without you guys watching my videos and like following my channel like honestly i just can't even believe it that there are people that watch my videos every week like that is a crazy concept like i absolutely love doing this this is what i wanted to do since i was 12 years old and it wasn't like my channel got big in like a year like i've been doing this for seven years now and it just feels so great to have the support system and to be able to do things like this i've wanted to treat my grandparents for a really long time and like to have been able to actually execute this like i literally couldn't have without you guys and i just hope that you guys can share with the excitement of this experience if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this one make sure to let me know down below and again just thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys have opened so many doors for me that never would have been opened you've made so many things possible and i just want to continue to make good content that you guys will like and just keep you guys by my side so <laughs> 
yeah sorry if it's a little bit mushy but i just feel it i just feel mushy sometimes thank you guys so much and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one bye